It's been a hot topic all week. On Monday, the Supreme Court agreed to hear the case of Jack Phillips, who refused to bake a wedding cake for a gay couple back in 2012. He claims that, as a Christian, he has the religious freedom to deny business to same-sex couples. Okay, now speaking for the first time on TV since the Supreme Court announcement, please welcome Jack Phillips and his attorney, Kristen Wagner. Welcome to the show, you guys. So, Jack, let me talk. So, this all started when this gay couple, I've been seeing that, Charlie Craig and David Mullins, uh -huh. right? They came to your shop to order a cake for their wedding ceremony. Uh, and what was your immediate reaction when these two gay guys said, we want a cake for our wedding? Um... I tried to politely tell them that I didn't do cakes for same-sex weddings. I serve everybody all the time, but I don't make every uh, cake for every event that's uh, required. You don't make cake for any, every event that is asked for you to make yeah. it. If you ask me for something else. He also told them that he would sell pretty much anything in a yeah. store. That he so you would give them a different cake, just not a wedding cake? I would serve them... Gladly, anything that I sell in my store. Oh, but just not the wedding cake. Mm -hmm. I get you. So, did you feel, did you have a, um, a part, was there any part of you felt bad about what you had to, that you had to turn these, these lovely guys down? Yeah, I, it's a, a difficult thing to be in my position and know that somebody's requesting me to do something that I can't in good uh -huh. conscience do. Not turning them away, it's just this event. Please understand that. I get you. All right. I understand the, the concern people have about government dictating to private businesses what, what their business should look like, but on this religious freedom argument, I struggle. If, if it violates your religious freedom to sell a wedding cake to a, a gay couple, for example, do you then, when straight couples come in, do you ask them if they've had a child out of wedlock, for example, if they participate in premarital sex, if they... Because where do you draw the line then? Because that all could be deemed sinful or sinful to, to someone who's religious as well. Yeah. Again, I don't judge people when they come in. I try and serve everybody. I just don't make cakes for every event that, that's asked of me. I think you ought to remember that it's not just about whether someone thinks something sinful. It's that all of the Abrahamic faiths, Islam, Judaism, Christianity, they all believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. And it's a sacred religious ceremony. So the dignity cuts both ways here. And Jack's dignity is at issue as well in this. So I think it's a, it's a broader issue, and there's also a free speech issue here. Um, well, you can support same-sex marriage and still support artists like Jack and their right to create or not. But what create. is exactly your belief that prevents you from making that cake? Mm -hmm. What is it? I believe that the Bible cl clearly teaches that marriage is between one man and one woman. Uh huh. But there are other things in the Bible that I'm sure you don't believe. Well, that actually br brings yeah. you to my question, because yeah. one thing that's always confused me about this is that in the Bible it says many things if you read it. And I was raised in the church, and it says, you know, do not lie with a man, one lies with a woman. But it also says don't judge others. We're not the final judgment. It also says love thy neighbor. There are a lot of messages in there. How do you reconcile in your own spirituality which ones to go with? Because in my mind, whether you believe in it or not, you should definitely not marry a man. <laughs> but if someone else does, it's not my place to judge them because God will ultimately judge them. I'm not judging them. I'm not judging these two gay men that came in. I'm just uh, trying to preserve my right as an artist to decide which artistic endeavors I'm going to do and which ones I'm not. Um, there are other artistic endeavors that have no relation to same-sex couples at all that you decide. I just want to be clear about that. Sure. There's other things that you, these yeah. other, they, they're not related what are the other, to, yeah, what to are the other marriage. What types of cakes that you won't make? Okay, I won't do cakes for uh, adult theme parties. I don't do cakes adult for Halloween. Adult theme parties? Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, uh, Halloween cakes. I don't do anti-American cakes, something that would be disparaging to somebody. I'm not really sure if there's a... How, how do you publicize that? Yeah. Do people know that when they, when they walk into the bakery, or mm -hmm. would you... Even as to... difficult as it is yeah. to just tell you now, no, yeah. it would be impossible what if to... I want to... clan came in, and they wanted a cake. You know, they're having a party, they're all dressed up with their yeah. sheets. That sounds like kind of yeah. something that would be disparaging, and no, that and would And you say, happen. no, you would not. That's correct. Uh -huh. yeah. I have a question for you, too, and kind of bouncing off of Sarah's, um, Sarah's question, I know that you're a Christ follower, and Jesus was even criticized by some of his followers for hanging out with the lowest of the low and the mm -hmm. tax collectors and the sinners. Did you ever ask yourself, what would Jesus do in this particular situation? Instead of denying them, do you think maybe Jesus would have said, I don't accept this, but I'm going to love you anyways? Do you think that maybe would have had a more powerful testimony? 
it still doesn't answer the question, would he have made the cake? And I don't believe he would have, because that would have contradicted the rest of the biblical teaching. Can you speak up just mm. a little bit? Cause <clears> I'm sorry, yeah. I'm they tell me that all the time. So you don't believe that, I just asked, what, what do you think Jesus would have done in that situation? I, I don't believe that Jesus would have made a cake you don't? if he'd have been a baker. Oh, come on. But he would have Jesus been Jesus would have made him. the cake. Je he would have hung out with them. Jesus can turn water into wine. You no, can I do mean, whatever you want. You can believe the Joe. Bible and everything, but Jesus, that's, the, that's a deal breaker. For Jesus is going to make the case. Listen, I'm not judging none. what he did. I'm just speaking for Jesus right now. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you this. Um, because because we, t we talked about this same issue yesterday on the show, and, and, and I can see both sides of this argument. I can, when I, I put one hat on, when I put my legal hat on, I think it's, it's a closer call than I think we're giving credit for. When I put my human hat on, I think, just make the cake. But let me ask you this. Lower courts have found, Jack, that you broke the law because there is an anti-discrimination law in Colorado. So lower courts have found that you discriminated against this couple, but you're taking this fight to the Supreme Court. Why not just make the case? Two things. The Supreme Court is willing to hear it. That tells you yeah. something that there's more to it than I discriminate against a couple. Mm -hmm. What I did was not to discriminate, not to judge, but to decline to make a cake, an artistic creation for an event. These two gentlemen are welcome in my store today. They're welcome in my store every day. I welcome everybody who comes in. I don't make every cake for every event. And, and I think we have to put the, put the Greenhams in perspective here. Put what's really, have Jack talk about what it means to him to bake that cake and to violate his conscience and the dignity harm that he has had to sustain as a result of this. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's an important piece as well as what he goes through when he makes the cake. It's a canvas that he's literally painting on. His heart and soul is going into that. I mean, so, he's really been, I mean, he's received death threats. No, please. No, and, no, but the, have you, have you lost constantly. business because of that? I can't take it. Well, because of the court's <laughs> ruling that I have to start creating cakes against my faith, we've given up, stop making wedding cakes, period. And so you're losing business. It's bad business to say. No, it's, it's not about Over 40% of, of your business you've lost because of this? I can't document it, but yeah, that was a huge, huge part of our business. We did a couple hundred wedding cakes a year. $500 average. It's a lot of money for a wow. mom and pop shop. Yeah, it is. Right. That's too bad. And we got to keep in mind that the other cases that are going on right now, there are people facing jail time for these kinds of things. Literally, we have cases. We have a florister case will be before the Supreme Court in just two weeks, asking the court to hear it. She's going to lose everything she owns at 72 years old for serving a customer for nine years and referring him for a custom wedding, same-sex wedding designs. She'll lose everything she has. Well, there's, a, there's a large issue here. I mean, some people are saying you could set back the law. You know, no. the case would set back the law 50 years. In terms because of Because anybody could say, I have religious freedom to deny you my, my, uh, my wares. But I think Sonny would know, as, as a lawyer, no. That's not how it works. That's yeah. not how it works in the court. Cases are decided based on the facts of that case. To argue for some sort of slippery slope, even LGBT activists are saying there's no case in this country, nor is there any religion, that would actually advocate for denying someone because they say they're gay. All of these cases are about the right of expression, the right of the artist to create. And if the state can crush Jack, it can crush every single one of us. It certainly is a close call, but, but let me, let me um, tell you, we reached out to the couples, the gay couples' attorneys. They declined to comment at this time, but on the day that the Supreme Court announced it would be taking up this case, they said, the law is squarely on David and Charlie's side because when business... When businesses are open to the public, they're supposed to be open to everyone. While the right to one's religious beliefs is fundamental, a license to discriminate is not. What's your response? My response is that, my response is what I said earlier. First of all, the belief that marriage is between a man and a woman cuts across all of the major religions, all cultures, all civilizations. That's evolved in a lot of those religions because... No, it my, actually hasn't. My brother's gay and in our church it's fine for him to get married. And you know what? He and can. I was raised in the church. So it's, it's a lot, there are a lot of uh, God-fearing Christian gays that are, are accepted and loved and they are choosing to right. love someone else. and. It, so I do think the Bible has not changed because it was written thousands of years ago and translated 60 some times. So what we're reading even if you study the Bible is interesting enough, but faith has changed and it has evolved but he, to accept but, people. But is he allowed to have his faith? I, I totally agree with that, but Absolutely. I do feel it should be 
I should know that when I go in, because when my brother walks in and can't buy a cake from him, I don't want to put my business there. Yeah. It's my yeah. personal right. freedom. Right. Right. Now, what, what do you say to that? Yeah. And what do you say to that? Because we discussed this. I know we were running out of time, but we discussed this again yesterday. Would you be willing to put up a sign that says, you yeah. know, I am a, this is a Christian bakery. This is a Christian establishment. Uh, I will not make cakes well, you won't get any Jews ABCD. buying cakes either, or Muslims, if you yeah. do well, that. Our friends that are Jews and Muslims. Well, yeah. and so. I mean, you might be putting off that. other religions by doing that. I don't think that. a Jewish person well, would not buy a cake because he's No, but if he said this is a Christian uh, store, this that could Christian, put people off. But he could bakery. list adult parties, Halloween, gay marriages, and just let everyone know, these are the things I yeah. do. Uh -huh. But I think right. the key is, first of all, Colorado law would prevent that, as is it, because many of all these right. laws have publication bans. But second, the Supreme Court and even President Obama has recognized Jack's beliefs are in the mainstream. Millions of people of good faith believe this, and we need to be a tolerant society.